we are given a vt graph and we need to find the graph make the graph for acceleration displacement and distance from this vt graph so few things you must know already that acceleration is the slope of vt graph displacement is area under vt graph and distance is the magnitude of area under vt graph so you keep adding the areas and you get the distance so let's do the acceleration first slope of vt so you can see here that its velocity is 1 when time is 1 so slope is 1 45 degrees right so slope is 1 so acceleration initially is 1 then the velocity is constant which means acceleration is 0 because so slope is 0 here slope is minus 1 so acceleration is minus 1 here slope is plus 2 so it's gaining 2 meter per second in 1 second so its slope is 2 which means acceleration is plus 2 then again its velocity becomes 0 and it's just constant so acceleration is also 0 this is the acceleration now displacement displacement time graph so if you you must know that displacement is integral v dt so v here in this graph so initially v is equal to t this is the slope slope is 1 so v is equal to t this is the graph initially so v is equal to t for first path the displacement is integral t dt so v is equal to t so displacement is t dt that is t square by 2 so the function is a parabola and it will go like this then second part the velocity is constant so if v is constant you will get a function of integral of dt which is t so it's going to be a straight line path because our displacement is proportional to t now i'm not writing the constants here only finding the function of how the how it depends on t now in third part the velocity is decreasing and is proportional to minus t so here v is proportional to t here it's proportional to minus t so we can write v as minus t so this will give minus t square by 2 so it will be again a parabola and it will start to come down so here it was t square by 2 it's the same parabola here but the inverted one so that will ha again happen up to this point so after that this time the velocity is 2t so integral of that is t square so the curve will also be of t square so it's going to be sharper so here this was minus t square by 2 so it was a little bit um, blunt but here it's going to be sharp then eventually the velocity is 0 which means this term is also 0 so displacement is also 0 now for distance distance always increases so up to here it will be same as the displacement because it is increasing and it's a one dimensional motion after that the displacement is decreasing the particle is coming back but the distance will continue to increase so it will be a mirror image of this path so these are our answers i suggest, suggest you practice this until you get a good grip of how to convert a VT graph into the acceleration time graph and displacement time and distance time graph.